Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in New York City. I'm here with Peter Way. Peter, how are you doing? I'm doing great. So you're the CTO and co-founder of Continuum Analytics. That's right. And so what do you guys do? Uh, we support and um, further develop uh, Python for data science. And we help enterprises adopt it. We uh, actually just added our support. So really we're about open data science, data languages, things like that. So can you tease apart the name a little bit for me? Continuum uh -huh. and Analytics. Sure. Uh, it's very geeky, actually, um, and, and unfortunately I don't think I have enough time to go into the details, but um, really we see a continuum of users, a whole spectrum of users, from point and click data analysts who can only use Excel, but want to go deeper, all the way to the people who are coding their MapReduce jobs in Java and Scala and Python and PySpark. Um, there's a whole continuum of needs between all of these different people, uh, and so all of them we think need to be empowered in order to do data science effectively at enterprise scale. And is that what the state of analytics is right now? Is that kind of where we are? <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely different, I think, different technologies and different vendors that are targeting certain segments of it. And I would say our sweet spot or the user community that we've attracted uh, really is around the practicing in the trenches data scientists. Okay, and so there's, there's a lot of analytics companies out there and there's a lot of tools out there how big and important is open source in the analytics space? Uh, it's very important. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's quite clear to most people here that uh, Hadoop as an open source technology has been revolutionary in, in taking a lot of businesses to kind of the next generation of, of data management. Um, we certainly see Python and R and some of these open source languages as being just fundamentally important because uh, we, we see data science as a team sport. And um, not only is a team sport, but all of the innovation that's happening around data science, um, all of that is a global community of innovators. Um, and you can't harness that kind of energy and that kind of insight when people have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to license some piece of software. So at a very base level, the infrastructure for data management and for uh, expressing your ideas in data science and your questions, those need to be open source. So when you say we see data science as a team sport, mm -hmm. can you, uh, Tell me what the team looks like. Yeah, so usually there's a spectrum, a continuum, again, if you will, of capability. Um, you usually have one or two data scientists that are really, really sharp on the, the statistics side of it. They're more statisticians sort of oriented. Um, you have some folks that are more data engineering, da database DBA kind of folks. Um, there's others who might actually be coming from the sciences. They're, they're postdocs that didn't want to go continue on a career in science. Um, there's uh, business stakeholders as well who really want to get more insight into how data can drive their business. Um, lots of people around the table in any kind of these data science conversations. Excellent. So Peter, what's on Continuum's roadmap in the next 12 months? What, what, what would you like to see happen? Um, so we're really, again, because we're focused on empowering data scientists and giving them, we call them superpowers, um, our roadmap consists really, it's really centered around more empowerment for them. And that means being able to more easily go from prototype to medium scale cluster deployment kind of things to then large scale production deployments. Um, and that's using the cluster aspects of our Anaconda platform. Um, we see them building data dashboards and interactivity into all of the visualizations they do, and that's with our open source tools, uh, it's called Bokeh, and uh, as well as the notebook. Notebooks are very popular now for people to do lightweight data apps. All those things are coming down the pike already here for some people, and we're making all of those things better for folks, um, making them enterprise grade, enterprise deployable. And so how do you see that market for you guys in the next 12 months too? Is this something that's, uh, analytics is growing, or are there more competitors, or are there more comp what do you see um, in that market? Both, actually, right? There's more competitors uh, because people are starting to realize the space is growing. And so I think that a lot of data scientists, actually my talk I just gave in the booth was around the fact that a lot of data scientists do their work in the dark. And a lot of the work they do, the really hard work, the grueling work, whether it's data munging, whether it's the really advanced modeling, it's very subtle. And it's, um, it can sometimes be invisible to the business. So when they're able to then surface their insights in these live apps and live data apps dashboards, that's mo much more impactful than if they just output some big PowerPoint or PDF file that gets mailed to people. So I think that that market is going to blow up pretty quick. Excellent. Well, Peter, we look forward to working with you and seeing you in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.